Hello guys, my name is Biffa and welcome to my first look at Planet Base, a space strategy survival game where you and a group of survivors have to make a base and survive on an alien world. Let's jump straight into a new game. I've already run through the tutorial, so hopefully I've got enough information to help me <laughs> jump into and play the game. Here we go, we're going to start on this Class D planet. Thick CO2 atmosphere, protects it from meteors and solar flares. Solar panels operate at full capacity, that's good. We're going to be needing power. Suitable for wind turbines, so they're making this easy. Could get sandstorms, no solar flares, no meteors perhaps. And our base name is Base D20. Let's call it... Oh. The Biffa Base. There we go, fantastic. Is that name too long? There we go. Start the game, the Biffa base. Yes, yeah, so there's so many things you can make and build and mine. Here we go. Landing on the planet. And we're going to see our little guys run out. And these are the people that we want to keep safe and keep alive here on our mysterious planet. Looks a lot like Mars. Reminded me of the, the film that's coming out, The Martian. Uh, read that book, very good book, about a guy being left behind on Mars and then having to survive, uses wits and science, worth checking out. Matt Damon in the film, of course, but I'll be hopefully watching that, it looks good. But here are our guys, here we are in the game. So we want to, let's just pause the game at the moment, uh, we'll slow the game down. We want to start setting things up for these guys to survive. We have menus up here to build stuff, we have our resources. Our pod here, our colony ship, contains metal, bioplastic, food, <laughs> that'll be my phone beeping, spares and all sorts of things, and medical supplies. But we want to get these guys building things. Let's come out of that menu. There we go. That's what I want to do. So first of all, we are going to make an exterior structure. Uh, now, what is the first thing that we want to make? I can't remember. Here we go. We want to make... There's oxygen generator, so we're going to start off with that. We can change the size. If I scroll the mouse wheel, there we go. It looks like they're getting ready to make it already. Oh, look! Meteors. There's not much space there, is there? I don't think we want it too far from the base, so we're going to put that there. So we're going to get those guys making that, and then we're going to need some power as well. So we're going to need one of these, a solar panel. And these connect up together. Let's get it as close as possible. And let's connect those two, link them up, and speed up the game. Speed up the game. There we go. We're going to get connections that will tell us all about it. But basically, structures need to be connected together. That will give you a little corridor for these guys to walk down. Auction generator has been built. Fantastic. We can get rid of that if we want to. We can edit the structure if we need to, but we don't need to. There we go. And now the solar panel has been made. That's going to tell us about the power grid. Lots of useful help, but if you go through the tutorial, then that will really help you. So these guys, I think they're standing around waiting for things to do. You can check out their statistics and stuff like that as well. So now we want to make... Let's have a look. Oh, keep pressing the wrong key. There we go. We want to make a water extractor. So let me see if I can remember whereabouts that is. Solar panel, wind turbine, a water extractor. There we go. That's going to help us. Can that attach? Let's have a look. Just want that to attach to this one over here. Get the power. There we go. So we'll speed that up and get those guys building that. What's this? Oxygen flow. Yeah, as you connect things together... There we go. Oxygen will flow from one to the other in our oxygen generator. And if we read this information here, it uses... Extracts oxygen from water. So having these connected like this on this grid automatically runs pipes and all that sort of thing to get everything working nicely. So we have our water extractor built. I think that's all we need. Uh, extract oxygen from water. When the current level of oxygen is low, structure will be coloured red. Yes, yeah, so it hasn't actually got any water yet. We're getting power. Structures have been built. Fantastic. There we go. And that's working now, making oxygen. Very good. So we have 2002. So now we can start attaching buildings to this. And hopefully not use up all our resources. What could we do next? An airlock would be good. So they can get in and out and start having corridors on these buildings. So let's jump over here. 
an interior structure, I believe. Airlock. So let's make... I think that's only one size you can make the airlock. We're going to attach that here. Is that going to click to there? There we go. So we're going to get them to build that. Let's build up the game again. What's this one here? Oh, haven't seen these before. Stats. Prestige, welfare, how many humans we have. Visitors. Whoa. We don't want to be hit by any of those. How many bots, resources we've got. Excellent. Charts about all sorts of things. Our power grid. Water, oxygen, power. Oh, the airlock has been built. There we go. And they are going to get inside there. If they need O2, they will go inside. There we go. It's filling up. And they're all heading inside to get their oxygen. There we go. It says it's got no oxygen, but it has now. Of course. There we go. So, we're extracting water. We're turning it into oxygen. What do we want to do next? Well, we want to provide food for our people. Let's go back to this menu here. So, we want to provide... Let's have a look through here. Base pad. We want to provide a canteen. Oxygen generators out of power. Well, it is night time. So, actually... That's something different. We didn't have that before. A power collector, I think, would be good. Or, no, I tell you what, let's not do that. Let's slow this down. Let's make a wind turbine, which I believe will work. There's a bigger version, isn't there? Let's make the bigger version of the wind turbine. Let's collect those together. And also, we can start storing power. I'm going to have a power collector, which, if you read on here... Stores electricity to use when none is being generated. So that will be very handy. We'll add that as our third ring over here. We'll connect those together. So hopefully that will all work well. Are they now stuck in suck? Can they not get out? Oh no! What's happened? To there, they have no oxygen. Oh my goodness. I don't believe it. They've all completely died. From lack of oxygen. <gasps> no way. I can't believe that's happened straight away. You failed to build a viable colony. Wow. I went through the tutorial and I made a few notes and I've basically done <laughs> exactly the same as the tutorial told me. That is a steep learning curve. Well, I tell you what, let's let's jump in again. This is going to be Biffa Base uh, 2.0. Can't do points. Version two. Well, that was interesting. I thought I I was going to I thought I was going to do okay at that. I thought that'd be fine. So basically, oxygen and having enough power to last all night is what we want to do. So I'm thinking wind turbine and a battery to last through the first night that is tough let's see what happens let's get our guys out here they come all ready and raring to go hopefully these aren't the same people as last time because they might be slightly worried let's set the game speed to one and let's get going with this as soon as possible so we want uh, require oh you have to have a solar panel for a thing okay well oxygen generator let's pop that there and then finally so we've got the wind turbine, a power collector. We want to uh, connect that. I'm going to go over here. I don't want to use two connections. Can I just use one? Do want to use the one? There we go. Let's do one. Get as close as we can. There we go. Let's do that. Okay, oxygen generator. How is everybody's oxygen? Doing okay. Hopefully, they're going to get this built pretty quick. Pending resources. How are our resources? Let's have a look. Okay, we've got plenty of metal. So we should have enough stuff to make all of this. Here they go. 
So we've got these little robots as well. Let's have a look at one of those. CR1 is a carrier bot. They will help to move stuff around. What are these guys here? Biologist, biologist, medic, workers, engineers. Here we go. It's going. So that's the time, the wind strength, bots and people. And that's the stuff that we've got. Spares for repairs as well, which is something we need to remember. Okay, water extractor. We're now making oxygen. There we go. We're now connecting power through both of these. So our power grid uses 6.05 kilowatts, produces 39, which is fine. And that will be connecting it up. We will last the night. Now they're heading inside. You press tab. There you go. You can get rid of the, the roofs on the top. And also, if you do this... Let's have a look. There isn't one there. Oh, where's the cameras? There's no cameras. I had cameras before, so I could look inside. Maybe that is something... Hmm. Okay. We'll come back to that when we have built the airlock, the canteen. That's the next thing. Let's add... Well, that's big. Let's build a number two size canteen. Just there. Let's connect those together. So they're getting oxygen anyway, which is good. There we go. Look, they take their suits off when they're inside. Fantastic. And then get them to speed things up a bit. This guy, he's going to go. There he is. He's picking up parts from here. Now, what we can do is take this apart and actually gain parts from this as well. So we're going to recycle that. And we've gained a whole load of parts. Here we go. And the parts that we had already. Which is good, because now we have a viable place to stay. So let's speed that up. Let's get the canteen made. And we can now see... Oh, there we go. Look, we can actually use our camera. Oh, how's our power doing? Now it's night time. Still doing okay. Here we go. We can look inside the canteen. There we go. We can sort of manoeuvre around, have a look, see what's going on. At the minute, it's empty. But... Let's just wait until this is connected and we get O2 in there. There we go. Connection's been built. So now we can edit this structure. So if we go up to here. Structures out of oxygen. No. 14%. It's going up. Why are they out of oxygen? No, it's going up. We're fine. We've got power. Don't tell me the water extractors stop working. No, things are okay. Let's edit this then. Let's add some stuff in here. We want people to be able to have some food. So we need to give them a table to eat at. Um, let's go for four. So four can eat at a time. We'll get them to build that. We want them to be able to drink. So we'll give them a nice water fountain. Let's put that over this side. We want some entertainment so they can have a video screen. Let's plop that there. What else have we got here? Decorative plant, table, a meal maker. Creates meals from vegetables or vitro meat. But we haven't got that far yet, so we'll wait for that. But here we go, the guys are queuing up one at a time to come in. I'd like to make that wider. Or maybe add another airlock at some point, perhaps. Hmm, we'll see. Now, how's our power? Yeah, we're still doing okay power-wise. These guys are going to need somewhere to sleep. So let's take a look at uh, interior structure, sick bay storage bar. Mop. Whoa. Was that somewhere near us? Drinking fountain's been built. Let's take a look. There we go. Take a quick look inside with the camera. Fantastic. We can see them using the drinking fountain, getting ready with the table. TV will be up there soon. Good, good. Yeah, we want somewhere for them to, to sleep. Um, so, what am I thinking of here? A dorm. That's what I want. Can I squeeze that in here? Oh, man, those meteorites. They're unhappy about the lack of water. What time is it? Power one. Wind strength. Hmm. Why we've got so little water? Ah, oh, I think the sun's coming up. That suddenly kicked in again. 
Is there some way we can save water? Let's have a look. Water extractor, water tank. There we go. Let's add that there. Let's connect that. Uh, we didn't connect the dorm, did we? Uh, where's that going to connect to? There we go. We can connect. Yeah, let's connect that way. Get that in. Get them building that. And people are getting tired. Look, you can see the little symbols above their head. So we need to make sure we take care of that. Wind is dropping. But we're doing okay on that. Yeah, I think we'll, we're going to survive the night. That's good. Tiredness is the biggest thing that's affecting them at the moment. But we're fixing that. So we're okay. Hopefully. Let's speed this up again. Get them to build. We're bringing over the blocks. Here we go. Engineer is kicking in. Vincent. Who have we got? Vincent. Edmund. Norton Wilson. Oh, the water tank is built. Brilliant. That's going to start filling up with water. Aha! Here we go. This will start filling up with O2. Oh, we can't edit it until this is finished. Nearly done. There we go. It's all filling up with O2. And then... Oh, video screen. Everything's being built. Can we edit that? We can. So now, we want to put some beds in here for people to sleep. Now, two people can use these at a time. How are we doing for 22 of those? So we're going to put one there, I think. I'm going to put one here as well. Just so we don't get too many people getting upset about not being able to sleep. Let's take a look at our canteen again. There we go. We now have the TV right by the tunnel entrance. Sorry. Not the best viewing of the TV screen ever. They can keep up with news back on Earth. There we go. And hopefully these guys... Can I edit this and move it? Um, I don't think I can. Can I? I can recycle it and delete it. We'll, we'll just won't worry about the fact that it's floating in the air. They can still get the news though. Survival has been reached. One day after landing your people are still alive. Well, that sounds good to me. There we go. So what we can do... Keep pressing the escape. There we go. Is now we have our colony set up. Wow, I saw that flying over. We can actually have more colonists come and live with us if we want. But first of all, we need to get mining. Because bioplastic and metal, we're running out of. Let's have a look. Bunks have been built. Fantastic. Wind turbines, we've done those. I'm checking my list to make sure we need food. So we need to build a biodome. We need to get some food being grown that we're not going to run out of. A biodome. Can we squeeze that over here somewhere? Let's have a look. And I'm wondering whether... Hmm. We'll go for a small one for now. Can I just not put that next to anything? Seriously? Oh, there we go. Why is it not letting me attach over here as well? And to the airlock. Got to be careful here. We don't suddenly run out of spaces that we can build and attach to. That would not be good. Okay, we'll connect there. That's something I've noticed. They don't actually tell you dead end. Can I have one interior connection? It doesn't tell you in other places. Canteen. How many connections you can have off of different things. Hmm. I'm hoping we can come down here with our next item, but we will see. We will see. So let's get the biodome made, and then we need to be able to work on getting some food and stuff set up. So these poor guys aren't starving. They're tired, aren't they? How are we doing for food? We have 13 meals left, so yeah, we really need to get on top of this. And then, So these biodomes, we can grow vegetable pads, and which we can then turn into food. Carrying meal to airlock. Here he comes. Whoa. That was pretty close. The biodome has been built. 
get the connection built. Oxygen's going in. So what can we add in here? We want to add some different sorts of food. Let's have a look. How about a tomato pad? Um, medicinal pad. We'll come back to that. Starchy. Yeah, we'll have one of those. And maybe that will do. Radish, onion. Let's go for one of those as well. So they'll get added in. There we go. That prioritise work in this structure. Ah, didn't know you could do that. Fantastic. So let's get them prioritising on that because we really want to get some food and we need a meal maker in our canteen. Let's edit this so they can turn that into food for us. So let's add one of those in. There we go. So they will start farming things from these once they're made. Let's check our power. Power is full. Uh, we're making 30, only consuming 14, so that's good. And the water, making 5, consuming 1.5, and, and we've got plenty spare. Okay, so in case of disasters and one of these things gets destroyed, we're covered, hopefully, to have enough of those. Okay, there we go, that's going to get made as well. Okay, there we go, the meal maker has been made. Let's just slow the game down a bit and read about the meal maker. There we go. Produces meals from vegetables, which we're going to have, or vitro meats. An individual box of vegetables can be converted into a basic meal, which is good. If you have enough variety of ingredients, might be able to make a mixed meal, like pasta, salad, or burger. Mixed meals restore morale. Right, okay, so that's good information to know. So what's it saying at the minute? It's going to get vegetables, vitro meat for a meal. Not producing any just yet. And I'm assuming that will show us where the different types of food will go. So that's good. That's producing. That's producing. Fast production and high maintenance. Okay. Let's turn that back to normal. Uh, in fact, actually, no, I'm going to put that higher. I want to make sure that we get enough food and not run out. Because that would be a disaster, wouldn't it? Good, okay. Um, so we have a biologist, don't we? Onion pad has been built as well. Fantastic. Yep, yeah, we're going to be getting food from those. Very good. So yeah, we do have a biologist, don't we? There we go. Edith Schultz, going to get a meal. Do we have food over here? There we go. Pasta, pasta, pasta. They're living off pasta. They're going to love the vegetables. Hopefully they will anyway. <laughs> so we've got rid of the colony ship. We've recycled that. Ore mining needs to come quite quick. Although medical supplies, I think, we'll actually add one of those in. Let's add in a medicinal pad. Because we're getting quite low on those. We have five. I don't think we've used any yet. But if we suddenly do, then... We're going to be wishing we'd made it. So while that's being made, I'm going to look at making storage 2 to 7 processing plant cabin. Each bed is owned by a colonist. Ah, oh, right, okay. Interesting. A multi dome lab control sensor. There's lots of things. Sick bay, which is looking good. We want to get a mine, which is this one here. And it has to go near a mountain base, so that will connect there. That might help us out of a sticky situation, actually. We can get connected there, and hopefully we'll then be able to connect off of here as well. Let's do that and see how that goes. And with the mine, we can start mining metal. Up, oh, medicinal pads have been built. Fantastic. Is that making anything yet? Are these still 46, 33? I'm really hoping we're going to get enough... Whoa, that was close. We're going to get enough food together before we run out. Man, I feel like we're living our life on the edge. <laughs> we're gonna, if we just do one wrong step, we're going to cause a problem. But hopefully we'll be okay. Um, so we need... A processing plant to process what we get out of that. So let's have a look. 
Signpost monolith. <laughs> okay. Starport requires landing pad. Well, we're not there yet. Let's just slow things down a bit. I think, actually, it's one of these, isn't it? Processing plant. There we go. Oh, no, have we finished? I saw it connect there. There we go. Oh, there we go. Thank goodness for that. We can add one there. Good, good. Let's connect those and get that built. So this will start mining, which it's doing already automatically. And once we have the processing plant made, I'm just wondering whether... Do I need this on priority still? I'm worried about the food. I don't think we've actually used any medical supplies yet, and the spares are for repairing these guys or any buildings. I'm assuming if one of these gets hit by a meteorite or something like that, or an asteroid, we can we can repair them. We'll have to see as we go along. So the processing plant, let's speed that up. Once we've done that, we can edit that building and we can put a metal processor in there so we can start making all. So at least once we're able to make all of these things, we can start getting some new colonists in. That's the idea. Let's just speed that up and get that done. And this connection here. There we go. Processing plant is built. Let's wait for this connection to be done. Let's slow the game down again. Power storage is low. Yes, it is. Okay, let's deal with that first. Let's add another wind turbine. Take that connection there. There we go. Let's get that built. Start getting... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Power is going to run out. Oh, my goodness. We're out of power right now. Everything is out of power. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can we get them to build this straight away. They're taking the parts over. I had no idea we'd suddenly be using that much power. One and a half. I should have kept an eye on that. We're making 15, but we need 24. Wow. Okay. Can we get this built before there's any problems? Oh, what's the matter with this guy? What's the matter with this guy? He's injured. Okay. Go into connection. So they're still building. That's good. There we go. We're making 30. 32. And we're using 24. That was worrying there for a minute. What have we got here? Ore, meal, vegetables. So we've got ore. Let's edit this. And we can add in here a meal, metal processor. And this creates bioplastic from starch. We're going to add one of those in because we'll be getting starch from some of these over here. Remember, one of these is particularly starchy. I think it was the potato. What is that? Water. One of these, wasn't it? I think it's potato anyway. Yeah, it won't be the tomato. So there we go. We've got through the first couple of days, what are we up to? We're making these items, we'll be making these soon, and that as well. And I reckon next episode we'll be able to invite some more people in to come and live on this hostile planet with us and hopefully survive too. So we will see what happens. We've survived two days and ten hours. Although there's no wind at the moment, that's not very good, is it? Well guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, yeah, leave any comments, any suggestions, tips or hints if you've played this game before. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to watch some more. And uh, a click on the like button, well that's always appreciated because that really helps too. And I will see you in the next episode of Planet Base. Take care guys, thanks for watching. Bye bye.